Hello everyone, this is Zentangle Heart number three, and I'm going to be doing a super cute um, pattern called Zinger. And it's kind of like little sort of funky flowery things. And I'll do a um, border around the bottom in a larger scale, and then I will do the um, pattern itself uh, throughout the rest of the heart. And I think that you're really going to like it, it's super cute. So, but for this pattern, you just kind of, you're making just sort of concentric, uh, round, sort of donut shapes. And so we'll start with just a small one, and then we make a couple of bigger ones, and then we start getting small again. And you can make them perfectly straight. I like to make them kind of wobbly and wavy. And here we're going to make this one kind of go sideways. Um, so for the, the full pattern itself, um, you start by making the little kind of stems. And you can make them stick straight, you can make them any way that you like. I like to kind of make them um, kind of wiggly and, and wobbly. So we'll start and just make one like this. And then I'm going to make a second line so that they are a little bit thicker stems and they don't need to be perfectly parallel in fact I think they look better when they're you know not parallel at all it looks more natural and we'll finish each flower before we move on to the next one so that we have a you know an idea of where placement is and, and everything so when you attach the little zinger to the stem you start with just like a little circle and then you make a bigger one and then you go smaller there isn't that cute I love these they're just adorable and so then I'm gonna make a couple more and I'm just gonna start mixing around and, and um, overlapping them and all kinds of things. Um, so I'm going to put one here. And the same with the little you know, sort of top of the flower, the zinger part itself. You can make them go absolutely straight up and down, like, you know, perfect little cones. Um, I like to give them a little personality by making them kind of wiggly. And now I'm going to start to overlap a little. And when you want to overlap one, you just kind of start and, you know, stop when you come behind the stem. Uh, let's see. Let's do one right here. So I'm going to make this come up. I'm going to stop on the other side. I'm just going to continue it. So this one looks like it's going behind the other one.
And so yeah, so I think I have enough zingers in my heart. It's kind of full, they're all over the place, they're wiggling around. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. I, I don't really don't think with um, this many zingers putting any kind of background would work. It's gonna be way too um, busy. Could possibly put in partial pattern, like some little um, circles or something. Let's try that, just because I talked about it. And it might be kind of fun. So just like little bubbles or circles or something. Okay, well, hmm, not so bad, but I think I kind of liked it better before. But you know, that's what happens with everything, right? You don't know until you try. And now I know. <laughs> I mean, I still like it, it's cute. I like the little, little uh, bubblies coming around here. And if we do some shading, it will really kind of, you know, cause right now it's getting a little bit lost in here. Um, I think that's what I'm having a problem with. So if we do some shading, that should um, help, you know, define these shapes and uh, so it won't look so messy. That's a little bit better, although I'm very sad that I lost my cute little guys. They were so cute. Now they're kind of lost in all the circles. But still, it's not so bad. Um, oh, you know what? And we can also just shade these zingers a little bit, right? Give them a nice 3D look. Awesome. I still think it looks really cool. I wish I had to put the little circles in there, but you know, I did. And there it is. So, okay, this is the end of this um, heart zentangle. I will definitely be doing at least one more, hopefully two, depending on, um, you know, how much time I have, which is kind of short. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. And again, ask any questions if you have them. And I will see you next video. And subscribe um, so you know when I put new videos up. Okay, see ya.